have 40 states with voter ID laws. And you have all of this discussion of why you have Latino voter registration rates gone down. Um, that it is now harder uh, for people who are low resource, uh, lesser educated, working two jobs to register and to vote. They don't maybe have the time to go and get an extra ID. Their ID expired. They have an ID. They're a citizen. They're registered, but their ID expired. They don't have time to go and sit three hours at the DMV. Guess what? You can't vote if your ID is expired. That is a, a direct effort to change the demographics to make it look more like it used to. Um, at some point, um, though, the, the population and registration growth is going to become overwhelming. Um, and uh, at that point, the Republicans will, will have to be defending these draconian laws that have been trying to keep people away from the polls. It's like they're trying to hold people back. At some point, they're going to get run over. And, um, you know, people are going to remember who supported those laws. Uh, one of the reasons Reagan, you know, was looked on uh, somewhat fondly uh, by Mexican-Americans was his support for IRCA, for bringing those people out of the shadows and endorsing that and signing that bill that provided citizenship to undocumented immigrants, that it took courage to do that. People remember those stands you take. I think Obama will benefit from that, that he went out on a limb and he single-handedly, he didn't have to work with Congress. Um, and uh, he did that on his own. And so the Republicans are in that reverse problem that they are on the wrong side of some of these issues that make them look racist.